what is it that makes North Vancouver one of the most desirable areas in all of Greater Vancouver? In the next few minutes, you're going to find out. Hi, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to the Real Justine Priestley channel. I am the Real Justine Priestley, your local realtor with a twist here in the Greater Vancouver area. North Vancouver, also known as North Van, is one of the areas of Greater Vancouver. And if you haven't watched my video explaining the different areas of Vancouver, there are about 12 different municipalities. I'm going to put the video card right there, so you might want to watch that one first. North Van is a pretty dreamy place to live, but disclaimer, there are some downsides to living in North Van, and if you stay to the end of the video, I'll talk about those. Reason number one, you're living at the edge of the wilderness. One thing that's hard to conceptualize about Vancouver in general, but North Van in particular, is that you are literally living on the edge of the wilderness. If you went in a certain direction and just started walking, you could walk for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kilometers and just be in the woods. Nothing around you. You could end up in Alaska. <laughs> You're literally on the edge of civilization. North Van has bear warning signs in many places and many of the parks. So that's a reality. Most people who go wild for North Vancouver are the rugged outdoorsy type and they love being on the edge of the wilderness because the wilderness offers them reason number two. Not one, not two, but three local ski hills. Of the three local ski resorts in North Van, Grouse Mountain is the one in the middle. It's where I actually learned to ski myself when I was four years old. It's not a very big resort, but it is famous for unbelievable views of Vancouver if it's a clear day and this cute little gondola you take to get up to the ski runs. Mount Seymour you will find on the eastern side of North Van and the views from there are looking more south and east. And on a clear day, you can see Mount Baker, which is actually in America. That's a great opportunity for you to smoosh the like. Just give it a smoosh. Cypress Mountain is technically to the west of North Van in West Van, but it's very close to North Van. And its views look a little bit south and west, more towards Vancouver Island and Horseshoe Bay. I don't know about y'all, but I like a map so I can see what I'm talking about. Being on the edge of the wilderness also gives you reason number three, world-class hiking and biking. There are so many hiking trails in and around North Van that I could do an entire video just about them. Some of the more famous ones include the Grouse Grind, Spirit Trail, and the Baden-Powell Trail. Ranging from most easy to most difficult, some of them in suburban areas and some in that actual wilderness, there's something for everyone, but what they all have in common is the magnificent beauty of our temperate rainforest. Personally, I think this stuff looks nuts, but if you're into mountain biking, North Van is world renowned. Warning, do not try this at home. These are expert mountain biking trails, but there are definitely beginners and intermediates. And don't forget, but in the summertime, all those ski runs are hiking trails. Woohoo! Reason number four, you are super close to downtown Vancouver. So you can enjoy all that downtown Vancouver offers, great live entertainment, cultural events, festivals, an amusement park in the summertime, parades, pro sports, world-renowned restaurants, you name it, Vancouver's got it going on. Reason number five, beautiful neighborhoods and quaint villages. Almost everywhere in North Van, you will find quiet, tree-lined, and beautiful neighborhoods. The main villages of North Van, as I see it, are Edgemont Village, you got Lynn Valley, there is Deep Cove, there's Lower Lonsdale, otherwise known as Lolo, Central Lonsdale, and the Maplewood area. 
Edgemont Village is a charming little spot. Tucked away between the Capilano River and the Mosquito Creek Ravine. Nearby, you can find the sparkling new Delbrick Community Center and all of that surrounded by absolutely fabulous homes. It's streets like this that really make North Van so desirable. Lynn Valley is the part of North Van where I grew up and where you will find the Lynn Valley Shopping Mall, which is really the center of the Lynn Valley Village, watched over by beautiful mountains and featuring some gorgeous homes within the big, tall trees. Up at the top of Lynn Valley Road, you'll find some North Van history, a little cafe called the End of the Line, which is in the place where the streetcar used to stop at the end of the line over a hundred years ago. The streetcar, by the way, used to cost 90 cents for 10 tickets. Man, that is a bygone era. Deep Cove is a little village area on the eastern edge of North Van. Again, the village is only two or three blocks long, and Deep Cove centers around a park and a beautiful curved bay that's also a marina full of sailboats. Lower Lonsdale in recent years, also known as Lolo, has been extremely well developed with a lot of high rise apartment buildings and it has a real community feel. There's a lot of activity down there on any beautiful sunny day. In the summer, they have festivals and parties on the docks. The shipyards is a recently developed part of Lower Lonsdale that was industrial, but now is a haven for family fun, winter or summer. Perhaps the heart of Lolo is the Lonsdale Key Market, an indoor market that dates back to the 1970s. Lower Lonsdale has a fun alley that's called Fun Alley. Painted bright colors, it's a great place to go and get your Instagram on. Right up the street from Lolo, you will find Central Lonsdale, which is North Vancouver's business and administrative hub with North Van City Hall, the Henry Jerome Community Center, which takes up an entire block, the brand new City Library, the Centennial Theater for live entertainment. The gorgeous Victoria Park is in Central Lonsdale and of course, like everywhere in North Van, you will find delicious homes. The Maplewood area is going through a massive transition right now where most of the old homes are being torn down and new developments being put in high density townhomes and high rise apartment towers. And still, what remains possibly the biggest attraction in this area is Maplewood Farms, which is an actual farm and a petting zoo that has been there for decades. And Maplewood Elementary, where I went to school. I just had to throw this in here. Possibly my favorite street corner in all of North Van, the corner of William and Shakespeare. Reason number six, not one, but two spectacular suspension bridges. And here you will find the world famous Capilano Suspension Bridge, hiking trails, Capilano River, of course, Capilano Treetop Adventure. $55 for adults, you get into the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park and you can enjoy all of these amenities. The other and somewhat lesser known suspension bridge is in Lynn Canyon Park, and it's the Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge. Lynn Canyon also features gorgeous forest hikes, plenty of spectacular nature all around, a river in the ravine. Pro tip, Lynn Valley's free. Also, as far as I can tell, in the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park, you're not allowed to swim. 
But in Lynn Canyon, you sure can. Reason number seven, stunning views. When it comes to mind-blowing views, North Van offers so many. Obviously, it depends where you are and what direction you're looking and how high up you are. But here are some terrific examples. Nothing is perfect. Okay, let's talk about the downsides of North Van. The first downside of North Vancouver, in my opinion, is the transportation. Okay. Here's how it is. If you want to get off the side of those North Shore mountains, you have only two choices, one bridge or the other bridge. And you know what that means for traffic. The other thing that I think counts as a downside about North Vancouver is the weather. It rains almost twice as much in North Vancouver as it does in other parts of Vancouver. If it's cold enough, that's what gives you the snow on those beautiful ski mountains. But all year round, it's raining in North Van. Another downside in my book is there are no beaches in North Van. If you see these three dots, those are places where someone might tell you that there's a beach, but Burrard Inlet is heavily industrial. It has three oil refineries. It has logging, it has shipping, it has rail. I do not recommend that you swim in any of those waters. But here's a shot of Kate's Park Beach and Burrard Inlet. You be the judge. Tell me what excites you more about North Van, the skiing, the hiking, or the biking? Drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching the Real Justine Priestley channel, everybody. I am the Real Justine Priestley, your local realtor with a twist here in the greater Vancouver area. What I do is I help buyers and sellers overcome the stress of moving by being in their corner every step of the way. Remember, reach out to me anytime. I'm here to help and I'm here for you. If you'd like to see a video about a beautiful art gallery right in Lower Lonsdale, you watch this video right here. See you in the next video. Bye.